I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and say peace, mercy, and blessings to all the hopeful elect. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means he exists or he is to be. The true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer. Okay? And we are the Hebrew Israelites. There's 12 tribes. Of the, of the Hebrews, of the nation, which makes up the nation of Israel. Today we're being called by bywords such as Black, Negro, Latino, Latin, Hispanic, Native American, Seminole, Indian. Okay? We're the people that make up the lost 12 tribes <coughs> of, of Israel. The self-proclaimed white man. They're not white at all. They're actually red. They're the Idumeans, the Edomites, according to the Holy Scriptures. All right? And they, and they are the people that will be ruling in the last days before the return of the one you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, right? Which his name is Yahweh Shai, which means he is to deliver. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means he exists or he is to be, okay? <clears throat> this is going to be some uh, exhortation. You know, pretty much, you know, we all have to kill that old man before he kills us, you know? Because one thing you have to understand is that the old man... You know, you know he's he's just trying to survive, but the new man who should be modeled after Yahweh Shai, which is you know what we're striving for, you know that that perfection, you know that's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you know so a lot of old ways, habits, you know way of thinking, you know how we used to carry ourselves, you know in the world, <clears throat> and of course you, you transition it into the truth, you know you you may be watching the videos. The, but then the spirit will bring you up on a level to where you're out there teaching, you know, and you may still battle some of these old ways, you know, but, you know, it's this it's exhortation, but also a warning, you know, to, you know, of course, for myself, my, myself, first and foremost, to kill the old man before he kills you. Okay, so this is the book of Ephesians chapter four, and I'm going to start at 17. I'll say it's the, the Christian's walk. Okay. Now, who are the, who are the uh, true Christians? The Israelites, the followers of, of Yahweh Shai. All right, Christ is a Greek word that means anointed. So it's talking about Yahweh Shai, right? The Hebrew word there is Hamashiach, which means anointed. So the Christians walk, are the, the followers of Yahweh Shai's walk. All right, this world calls us Christians. Okay. So this is this is our lot or our walk. Ephesians four seventeen. This I say therefore and testify in the Lord. That ye henceforth not, that you henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind. And then you have a lot of, you know, Gentiles, in garments. You know they have beards. They have they have the Bible in their hand. You know, but they wear hats when they teach their lessons. You know they they proclaim themselves to be a uh, chief priest. And they say Yahweh is not to be worshipped. You know they they make light of the Passover. They turn it into a. A, a, a party <clears throat> or they make it about money they do it for filthy lucre's sake and even in in the world you know it's the same thing the, uh, the gentiles walk uh they walk after the lust of their flesh you know how many women they could get you know whether they can take another man's woman or not you know the spirit of adultery the spirit of murder uh you know uh lying worshiping other gods blasphemy Okay, it's all vain, it's empty, it's worthless. It's not going to profit them nothing. Man. It's going to lead to their destruction. Okay, you have many men that are selling their soul to gain this world. Okay, all right, but then, you know, they're, they're, they're losing their soul. They're losing their life. Okay, they're losing everything. Because at the end, all these people who sell their soul, they always die broke, man. Okay, they always die with nothing. It says, verse 18, having... The understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai. All right, and their understanding is darkened. You know, they don't understand because Yahweh Bashem Yahushai has stopped their eyes from seeing and shut their ears from hearing so they can't receive this. You know, so that's very horrifying when you think about it. You know, because there's a select portion of our people. Who the Lord is not allowing to be healed by this gospel. The word gospel means good news. Okay. There's even people who have came in and tasted this gospel. And have went right back into the world. 
to try to be a rapper or, you know, try to make it in this society, man. You know, which is insane. Having the understanding of dark and being alienated from the life of the most high due to the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their mind, okay? Who being past feeling have given them over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleanliness with greediness. And that's what you see uh, when you go out into the world. You see lasciviousness, which let's go into this, this word. You know, our apostles and elders teach us to look up words. It's, it's important to get the understanding of what the scriptures are saying. Strong's G 766, as El Gaya, as El Gaya. Which is same, shamelessness, unbridled lust, outrageousness, insult, and licentiousness, man. Okay? And that's what's contained there, unbridled lust, to the point where there's changing of kinds. There's a woman carrying on as men getting with other women. You know, you can read about this in Romans, the, the first chapter, man. Even the women have changed to natural use. And they're getting with other women. And men are hooking up with other men. You know, you have bestiality going on. Okay, you have the love of money. You know? Verse 20. But you have not so learned the anointed. Okay? They, th th these people, they don't know about the Lord. They, they, they don't really know because this is the place where the Lord is crucified. The things that you learn about so-called Jesus Christ is that, you know, he you can come as you are. You know, nothing matters. You know? Verse 21. But you read the scriptures that the, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is a very austere man. 21. If so be that you have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Yahweh Shai. 22. That you put off concerning the form for the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to deceitful lust. So we have to put off that old former conversation, right? Which when you go into this word conversation. Strong's G391. Anastrophe. Anastrophe. The word there in the Greek is anastrophe, which means manner of life, conduct, behavior, deportment. Okay, so you, the the old manner, the old man that carried the the former manner of conduct, meaning the old habits, things of that nature that you were into, you you have to cut that off. You cannot bring that in the truth with you. You know, for example, you might have been heavy into smoking. You know, the scripture says that uh, you know, the body is the, is the temple. You know, you you're not supposed to to follow the temple. A lot of our people battle. The smoking weed demon, you know, simple things like that, where you may think it's, it's simple and you can still smoke and go to camp and, you know, read the scriptures. Hey, that's the old man that has to be cut off, man, because it is it worth your crown. You know, you have to actually, it, the scripture says that let no man take your crown, you know. So Revelation 3 and verse 11 says, Behold, I come quickly, right? Yahweh is uh, coming quickly. You know, we're in the last seconds of uh, the self-proclaimed white man's rulership, which is Esau. And there's a few major prophecies that, that we're waiting for, man. You know, the implementation of the rice device, the Karagma, Revelation 13, 16 on down, which is the MOTB. Uh, with that, you have the, the third woe. All right, and simultaneously with that, the second coming of Yahweh Shai, the destruction of this place, and the deliverance of the elect. Okay, so we don't have much longer. Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast that which thou hast. Hold on to this truth. Keep teaching. Keep studying. Keep believing. Keep praying. Pray without ceasing. Fast. Anoint yourself. Okay, let no man take thy crown. Okay, and are, are, not, are not you a man? All right, so you can you can take your own crown. You can hinder your own progress. It's called um, it's called um, how you say it. Pretty much, you can hinder yourself in this, man. Self sabotage. The water. The water. How about you? That's called self sabotage. You know, which you can do that through uh, um, you know the 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 what was me demon. You know, there's a, there's a spirit of, of self sabotage, man. You know, drinking. You know, you're drinking all the time, 
all right? You're waking up late. You're not studying. You're not reading, all right? Now, not reading is uh, in, in the world, you know, you might have hate to read, but you come to the truth, you learn you actually have to study. In fact, the scripture says that you must study to show that self approved. This is 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, and a lot of things, and a lot of times in life, you know, it's mean, you know, we have to, uh, you have to prove things un unto yourself. Okay. Now I was watching this show called Vikings, right? You know, it's about the, uh, you know, the ancient people of North or Northmen, you know, uh, you know, Sweden, all of that. They would come down from their land into England seeking new land for settlement for their people. Okay. So in the show, they were, they were, they were traveling. They were farmers. They were, they were warriors. They were seamen. Okay. They were, you had to actually be a real man during that time. One of the tests the men would give themselves is to go out and see if they can survive in the woods. You know, whether they had to kill a wild animal, a wolf, a bear, they had to make some fur so they could survive the winter. They had to start fire, they had to hunt, they had to get fresh water, they had to build shelter, you know. And one of the carriers, he actually did that shit, man. He said he went out, he, he, he needed to prove that to himself that he was a man, okay. And guess what, he later became the king of all Norway, okay. So part of proving yourself in this thing is studying, okay. Study to show that self-approved unto the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Shah, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, Right? Rightly dividing the word of truth, okay. So that the studying is uh very important. You know, reading. You know, you might not like like to read in the world. When you come to this truth, you need to read because the opposite of not reading is self sabotage, all right? Because you want to show yourself approved because you have to be ready to answer every man. You got to be ready to feed the sheep. How should I say? If you love me, feed my sheep. You know, and this is a a, a constant job. Okay, this is Ephesians 4 22 that you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to deceitful lust. You know, another thing, you know, whether it be not reading or to be chasing a woman, you know, trying to get this woman, that woman. Okay, and uh, before you know it, you don't have any time for the Lord. You know, these women got your mind occupied, you know, you're, you're being entangled, you're being pulled this way. You're being pulled that way. You're not making it to camp. You know, you're, you're late to camp. You know, your, your, your mind is fucked up because of arguments. You know, whatever, whatever it may be. You know, these women are, are wicked. Okay, and it says in Sirach that a wicked woman abated the coverage. You know, make it a uh, feeble knees. You know, just roughly paraphrasing. So, another thing when you come into this truth, you know, another aspect of this truth is understanding that, you know, you, you have to cut certain lusts completely off and hey, that's why the scripture says there'll be some that become eunuchs for the kingdom's sake man okay let's get that this is matthew 19 and 12 for there are some eunuchs which were born from their mother's womb and there are some eunuchs which were made eunuchs of men and there be eunuchs which have made themselves eunuchs for the kingdom of heaven's sake. He that is able to receive it, let him receive it. So what is a eunuch? It says a eunuch, a man who has been castrated. Especially in the past, one employed to guard the woman's living areas in an Asian cart, in an Asian court. Okay, so in the ancient time, you you, know, you have a king, all right, will have his quarters, you know, as far as counselors, his warriors, his men, his bedchambers, etc. Then you have the, the area, the, the quarters where the women, all right, and you would have men guard these women, but to make sure the men wouldn't have sex with these women, they would castrate that man guarding those women. That man is called a eunuch, okay? Now, 
Am, am I saying that you need to go get castrated and cut your rod off? Of course not. That is, uh, that is asinine. Okay? But you can spiritually cut things off, right? Because this is Deuteronomy 23 and 1. He that is wounded in the stones or had his private member cut off shall not enter into the congregation of Yahweh by Shem Yahushat. So, of course, we're not saying mutilate yourself. But you can, uh, you can spiritually be a eunuch. A great example is that a great example of that is Paul. That's why Paul says it's good. It's good. It is good that a man touch not a woman, because you you understand the trouble in the flesh that it comes with. You know, in this world, it's called uh, baby mama drama. You know, going to court, divorce court, paternity court, headache on top of headache comes with these women. So, and, and a lot of brothers they don't deal with women. They're they're spiritually eunuchs. Okay, because they're 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 so focused on just making it to the kingdom, they're not concerned with that. So, if you're just caught up in a woman, then that could be part of the old man that's uh, self sabotaging you, man. You know, just wanted to uh, touch on that. You know, Ephesians four and uh, twenty two that you put off concerning the former conversation, which means manner of conduct, how you were living, habits, lifestyle, etc. You got to put it off. I mean, you got to cut it off, okay? Because it's not going to benefit your walk, okay? The old man, right? Chasing women, trying to club every week, you know? Sleeping with this one, that one. That's part of the old man, okay? Not studying. That's part of the old man, all right? How you used to carry yourself, you know? Uh, not handling your affairs, man. Not handling your business, Okay, not taking care of your family, not paying bills that you need to pay, you know, not taking care of your, your home, your car, making sure, making sure shit is neat, clean. OK, that you put off off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt, according to deceitful lust. So these deceitful lusts. All right. Um, is what made us corrupt. OK. And be renewed in the spirit of your of your mind, right? Because you have to be renewed. You want to be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Your mind has to be renewed in this thing, okay? And how do you do that? With the scriptures, with prayer, with fasting, with anointing yourself, man, okay? With reading, with, with believing, asking the Yahweh Hashem El Shai to increase your faith and cutting off the things of this world, not following the, the trends. Now, of course, we're watching it, so we see what's going on in this world, uh, even though we're watching this world and we're prophesying against it, we're not of it. We're not in it. Okay? We're not in the midst of the folly, I mean. Okay? And that ye put on the new man, which after Yahweh by Shem Shai is created in righteousness and holiness, right? That new man should be, you know, praying without ceasing. That new man should be brotherly. All right? That new man should be, uh, be reading, studying, able to, uh, Break down the scriptures and, and feed the sheep. That new man should be apt to teach. That new man should be diligent. Okay? And, of course, we're all still working on ourselves. We're striving for perfection. Though none of us be perfect. This is our goal. Okay? It says, Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor. Right? Your new man shouldn't be lying. Just, just lying for no reason. You know? You have people in the world that do that. The movie Liar, Liar. You know, people, they just, they just, they just can't help it. <laughs> they just lie about simple shit, man. Okay? Now, of course, there is wisdom. And the scripture says to Micah that keep the door of thy mouth from the from her that lied in thy bosom. So you got to, you learn to be wise, too. You know, certain things you can say to certain people. Okay? For we are members one of another, right? One body. So you definitely shouldn't be lying to the brotherhood. You know, it says, be ye angry and sin not. You can't be walking around all in the, uh, in the uh, you know. I mean, it says be ye angry. You're supposed to be pissed off as what's going on down here. But it says, and sin not, right? Let not the sun go down upon your right. You shouldn't just be angry all the time, you know, to where the, the next day is coming and you're not getting that off your chest, holding grudges, holding things in, Okay. Another aspect of the old man is this world doesn't teach you how to be a man. This world doesn't teach it. It does not teach you how to communicate. It does not teach you how to con con carry yourself as a man. Okay? It does not teach you how to handle your business, how to budget, 
how to manage your time, okay? These are all things that you learn, you know, when you when you come out of school, when you start working, all right? For some of us, when you come into the truth, for myself, I never learned any of this in the world, but we're learning it now. Time management is very important because you have to get your lessons in, okay? And the apostle gave out an order that at least three videos a week, okay? It should be on your spirit to do three videos a day, you know? And this is just that righteous exhortation motivation, man, you know? It says, neither give place to the devil, right? To, to Satan, you have to rebuke evil, wicked thoughts because your mind's going to constantly be constantly be attacked because you're in a spiritual war, okay? We're fighting a spiritual, okay, war that the, only only the brotherhood is aware of. These people, they're not aware of your, of your fight, okay? So they don't know. And, and just like the movie Matrix, the agents, you know, they were able to hop on anybody to attack Neo. All right. Think of yourself as Neo. Think of the agents as the spiritual demons. And these people, they're just plugged in the Matrix. So at any time Satan can jump on them to, to mess with you, you know, try to get you to, uh, you know, do this or that. OK. Let him that stole steal no more. He shouldn't be stealing, you know. But rather let him labor, right? Part of being a man of, of, of the Most High, you have to be a man first, which is why brothers work. We have jobs. Some brothers have their own businesses, all right? But we're not out here, you know, panhandling, putting the cash app sign down. No, we're out here laboring, teaching. You know, brothers actually work. They call us bums. Brothers actually have jobs, man. Take care of themselves. They're their family. Some brothers have wives and children. Some brothers don't. Some brothers live alone. Some brothers live with other brothers. Okay? Let him that stole still no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands, the thing which is good, that he, that he may have to give to him that need it, right? In case you have to help out, brothers. You have to be able, you got to be, you know, brothers need help. You know, you got to be able to send uh, charitable. Okay? Part of this thing is, is uh, being very charitable. In the world, you may have been the opposite of charitable charitable you may have been stingy well that's part of the old man all right those things need to be cut off all right you come into the truth man you need to be charitable you know communication has to be on point because we are one body your body is constantly communicating with itself okay and uh you know <laughs> prayer verse 29 let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth now it's talking about um it's talking about, you know, the making mention of other gods, worshiping other gods, teaching other doctrines or teachings that are contrary to this truth. Okay? And what did Paul say in Galatians? If any man come and teach you any other doctrine, let him be accursed, whether a man or an angel. So don't let that come out of your mouth. Okay? But that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may be, that it may minister grace. Okay? Unto the hearers, okay? That's what it's all about, man. Becoming a, a, a new man. You know, I myself personally, you know, I like to take, I like to think and take notes, you know, of, of what I can work on. You know, especially, you know, when brothers have counsels, things of that, that, that nature. You know, I take notes, I uh, pray about it, and I actually how about Shemmy Shai to increase me and allow me to work on these things, to cut off these things that are hindering me, you know, to stop me from self-sabotaging ourselves because a lot of things you know we we do unto ourselves man you know we're 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 liking unto a gold nugget that being put in the fire you know whether that's part of it's all part of your story whether the fire be you you know your trials your tribulations you know whether brothers are rebuking you whether you get uh suspended you know whether you get kicked out of, of, of uh the church you're at okay you're being put in a fire to get the impurities out of you, okay? And those impurities come from where? That old man, okay? So, hey, you know, man, we all have, uh, we all have been in the world, man, okay? We've been in the world longer than we have been in the truth, so it's only, it's only uh, natural that some of these old man tendencies would still be lingering around, okay? But, you know... Now it's now it's now time more than ever to purge those things out 
And you want to ask Yahweh Shai to purge them out of you. You want to thank Yahweh Bashem Yahweh for purging them out of you, however he deems fit to do so. You know, so I pray this has been uh, edifying and exhorting, you know, faith boosting. I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rekha Double honors unto the apostles and that was the great millstone. Shalom to the elect.